my dear children hope you are absolutely fine and doing well and also hoping that you are preparing for your examination well actually and myself mr pranay vidyut who is before you to share a secret today and do you know the secret it is advanced accounting day before examination strategy the greatest part is that this was the first examination in your ca inter group 2 previously and now this is the first examination for you in group 1 of ca inter and the advantageous part is that there is no time bar for preparation actually you can prepare right from 10 days right from 15 days right from uh, uh, 20 days that's of your choice but at the end of the day the day which is before your examination or hardly the one and half day or two days before examination is very 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 important how many times you refer prior to the examination day but the day before examination is very very important to you so let me share the secret likewise what are the chapters that you need to concentrate more and from which chapters you will be getting more marks what chapters should be given least important which concepts you have to focus exactly on exactly before the day before examination all these things i'm going to share and also let me tell you one thing i always feel that accounts paper is lengthy rather than uh, the level of difficulty what's your opinion your opinion is always welcomed by us please mention the same in our comment section so as i said you that from the past experiences of ca inter examinations after observing many papers i had come to a conclusion that this examination with respect to advanced accounting is actually a lengthy paper so to crack a lengthy paper you have to manage the time well and all my dear children we have been always suggesting you that please don't see please don't look at the problems if you just practice the problems you will be getting it in a better way but if you are not preparing the problems properly if you are not practicing the problems properly and if you are just going through the problems just you are staring at the problems you are looking at the problems you are turning out the pages you can't manage time so we actually ask you at in past that always uh, practice rather than looking at the problems and now in advanced accounting the majority and the major focus is on accounting standards so be very sure with the accounting standards and what you are supposed to prepare what you are concentrated for all these things let me start the following chapters which are actually very very important take more care number 1 preparation of financial statements number 2 amalgamation of companies number 3 internal reconstruction number 4 consolidation these four chapters are going to be actually very very important role in your examination where uh, you might get three balance sheets for sure if our guess goes correct minimum you will be getting three balance sheets in the entire paper he'll be asking to draft balance sheet after amalgamation balance sheet after consolidation balance sheet after internal reconstruction and preparation of financial statements a balance sheet and coming to the standards framework it's very very important continuously he is testing the question and coming to accounting standards accounting standard number 2 accounting standard number 7 accounting standard number 9 accounting standard number 10 accounting standard number 11 accounting standard number 16 accounting standard number 20 these things are going to be very 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 important and along with all this set please concentrate please concentrate on accounting standard number 28 accounting standard number 25 accounting standard number 15 these are the new standards and hence we are asking you to concentrate the same let me tell you what areas you have to focus in these respective chapters preparation of financial statements as usual you might get a pnl account and a balance sheet amalgamation to the max extent he is going to test purchase amalgamation in the nature of purchase plus net assets method less chances for net payments method but it might get but the first pick is amalgamation in the nature of purchase in amalgamation chapter it is highly recommended to you to practice 
purchase consideration problems constantly and continuously. No need to check out and no need to practice each and every problem exactly the day before uh, examination. You just go through each and every problem's purchase consideration and if possible compute purchase consideration in calculator or in a rough way as fast as possible. Coming to internal reconstruction, a very very simple chapter but please don't leave uh, shared surrendered model. Because people will be preparing all the internal reconstruction and thinking that till now Shea Surrender did not ask and hence uh, no need to prepare that. No, it was not like that. Exactly before the, before your attempt, that was if I was not wrong for November 2023, he had asked the problem on Shea Surrender. And coming to consolidation, students will be generally concentrating on consolidated balance sheet and they will be ignoring consolidated P&L account, minority interest, uniformity in accounting policies, etc. But the irony is that if at all the examiner is picking a question from consolidated balance sheet, he is asking a very simple and a very lame question. But if he is, if he is picking uh, from uh, these things, you should be in a, able to write that. But what students are doing, you know, they are uh, extending their least concentrating concentration on consolidated P&L, minority interest and uniformity in accounting policies and extending their concentration towards only balance sheet. Never do that. Give equal importance and equal priority for everything. Because in your last attempt for 15 marks, he asked minority interest question. Hope you have remembered uh, uh, what is the treatment for minority interest total if it had become negative. If you are a mastermind student, then it will be actually in uh, CRD number 3. So, take more care. And coming to framework, I can't tell this is exactly important in framework because uh, you are going to get uh, any kind of theory question from framework. AF2, of course, valuation of inventory, concentrate on uh, the bunch of goods of valuation of inventory and be careful, he might ask you raw material, unfinished goods, etc. and etc. Valuation of raw material, valuation of uh, finished goods, those two things will be linked. And coming to A7, as usual a construction contract, be careful for preparation of contract account along with provision for loss, extend concentrating to that part. And coming to A9, as usual, prepare everything, just extend your concentration. And coming to accounting standard 10, uh, for your current information my dear students, A10 and A11 is the greater pick by the examiner, he is asking a mandatory question from these two things, so prepare harder for these two things. And A16, he is blocking here actually. Many of the students are going through the A6, going through the problems of A16 and they are actually feeling that it is very easy. But provisions are there, never leave the provisions. And A16 problematic is going to be a very different and difficult one in the examination. If he wants, he can ask a very simple thing. Likewise, he will be giving the total uh, borrowings and uh, total uh, interest bifurcation between uh, qualifying asset and uh, non-qualifying assets but sometimes you might have a different pick from A16 and A20 rights issue is very very important and uh, A25, A15, A28 this time prepare as A category and concentrate on each and every concepts of 28, 25 and 15 but it's our recommendation from our end preparing problematic is highly enough rather than going through the provisions of 28, 25 and 15 as of now reason being 15, 28, depth and concept is more and more, but the problems are actually in a very basic style. So, this is our first part, where you are going to get on a whole, as per our observation, 60 to 70 marks, which is not a small thing, take more care. And the second category, as we claim, uh, after doing a small research, that is all about investment accounts, cash flow statement, buyback of securities. And some of the standards like AS1, AS4, AS5, AS12, AS17, AS18, AS19, AS22, AS26 and AS29. Investment accounts, the first pick is like uh, the standard based or he might ask investment in equity shares or even he might ask investment in debentures. We can't assess here. But coming to cash flow statement, the first pick would be the direct method, not from cash book actually. It is actually from uh, uh, PL account and balance sheet. And if this was missed, he will be asking the indirect method. 
and coming to buyback of securities a very easy chapter please don't leave tests for buyback you might uh, even get a mcqs question from buyback of securities also there's a chance for the same and coming to the standards as1 4 and 5 are very small and easy standards just you can extend your concentration coming to as12 receipt of grant and refund of grant to the max extent he'll be asking refund of grants from accounting standard number 12 and or he might ask uh, from 4 5 and 12 a kind of question that he is uh, giving you various situations under the same question itself and he'll be asking you to write in 4 he will be asking you whether the following events is an adjustment event or a non-adjusting event. Coming to AS5, he will be asking whether uh, uh, the following things or uh, ordinary items, extraordinary items, exceptional items, etc. And coming to accounting standard number 12, he will be asking like uh, what would be the entries at the time of refund or for the following situation. And coming to AS17, as simple as such, uh, for segment reporting tests for uh, segments all the five tests are very important as 18 related party disclosures as usual just go through that because everything is important and coming to these two things it's your choice whether you'll prepare or not but we tell that even though you take a choice better not to take any choice if you would like to take a choice prepare all the easier parts in that and then you leave it prepare 19 and 22 the day before examination only when you have prepared prayer otherwise don't touch those two things and as 26 intangible assets if you prepare uh, tangible assets as 10 almost this is solved and extend your special concentration on research and development and last and final as 29 provisions contingent assets and contingent liabilities conceptual clarity in as 29 is very very important and coming to the remaining chapters like uh, yeah one more thing and these chapters all together as per our observation will be covering 40 to 50 marks and the last pick is all about branches, both dependent and independent. If you prepare this one, you will be getting only 5 marks actually. So, we tell that give last preference to this one. And AS 23 and 27, consolidation part 2 associate and part 3, which is nothing but uh, uh, joint venture. Don't extend special concentration, prepare at the last part. And last and final, like accounting standard number 24 and introduction to accounting standards. This is our last week where you might get just hardly 10 to 15 marks or just 10 marks also. And my dear children, this is your examination strategy. So, in that respective cha chapters, prepare that respective points. And remember, generally you will not get a tough paper in accounts. Even though it was a tough paper, around 60 marks can be easily crackable. And when to write MCQs is the biggest question nowadays. As simple as such, don't pick it at the beginning. Don't pick it at the end. Somewhere after writing two questions, you just concentrate on MCQs and you just complete the same. And my dear children, for your next examination, we are going to upload a day before examination strategy even in the next subject. Please do come to our channel, watch and then start your preparation. And if you like the video, just uh, give a big thumbs up and please do share and subscribe. Thank you. All the best for your examinations.